Hey y'all, it's me, Pretty Witty 77 and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, no worries, hit the subscribe button because this is a team you definitely want to be a part of. You know, Team Witty, Team Liddy, eh. <laughs> Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys um, a week in the life of transitioning hair. I get a lot of questions. What do I do? How do I moisturize? When do I do what? Truth be told, I wing it on how my hair feels and time. Let me not get into too much detail right now, but if you're interested in what I'm doing to my hair in the course of seven days, then definitely keep watching. First off, we starting off with this bunny, and guess what's underneath? It is an old twist out. See, this was Eli's big child. My hair is looking all kinds of ways. I just tied it up because I didn't want it to get wet in the shower, but this is an old twist out that I didn't even try to save because it's at, the, at this point trying to save a twist out with transitioning here in the gym it's like your roots gonna be frizzy your ends gonna be thin it's like I feel like it's no saving at this time but um this is my ponytail and I'm about to go to work so how I refresh my hair I have a, a spray bottle of water the water is warm and I just take it Rinse like the base of my hair with water so that it's nice and moisturized. Water is your moisturizer. Well, water is my moisturizer. I mean, other stuff too, but you know. So as long as the base part is full of water, I'm good to go. Now, because my hair is dry as ever, I'm gonna be going in with this naturally smitten moisturizing hair butter. Butter, butter, butter. It's butter, don't pronounce it with the A. I mean, don't type it in with the A if you're searching for it. So, a little of this goes a long way. It's extremely rich. I love this product, y'all. The first ingredient is shea butter. Like, it ain't no other like BS ingredient. Like, it's rich, it's thick, it's creamy, it's scrumptious. <laughs> it smell good too. So I like to go in just to provide a little bit more moisture to the base of my hair. And because I'm gonna be wearing a hat for the next nine hours, I'm gonna be going in with my uh, Wet Line Extreme Gel. You can get this at Target. It's actually cheaper than Eco Styler. I, I think it's just as great. The hole is amazing, but I have kind of seen it flake up a little I'm not sure if it was like a combination of the products that it, I blended it with but I don't know but it's a great like dummy gel you just want a slick look and you know you know you don't have people like looking in because I'm gonna have a hat on so yeah and it's cheap and just slick down this part because sometimes when your hat you know the sides are exposed like you can see like maybe I just got a big head I don't know but yeah, I'm just gonna be going in with the gel. Am I talking too much or do y'all like when I talk? Or would y'all just rather be doing voiceover? <laughs> Sometimes people be wondering. I mean, YouTube is like one of that. So slightly with my demon brush, very slightly. I'm not gonna even comb like all the way through. And even more slightly with my um, soft bristle brush. This is where the smoothness comes in at y'all. That soft bristle gets you right every time. So this is my look slick look that just the gel gives the base part of my hair. And you know, you never can have too much gel. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. Next I grab my kind of like do-rag thing. It's starting to bust. I think I'm gonna get black thread and just like sew it back together because I don't know where I purchased this from. I think Sally's, I purchased it was so long ago. And with, to get the ends like this, Kind of hard to find because I, I haven't really seen anybody else with this kind of style but like i said it's starting to bust so don't talk about me but i'm just prepping my hair for the hat that i will be wearing because a lot of you might, might wonder like why do i wear this and the reason is because when i have hats on like i don't know what the inside of the material is being made of so to protect my hair against friction from hats, you know, taking them on, taking them off and just dry my hair out, I like to protect it with a satin scarf. So the final step will be me putting my hat on. And voila, day one. So I didn't get a chance to show you guys how I tied my hair up 
at night, but it was literally took the hat off and just put it in a bun like this. And the bonnet went back on, sis. So now, it's what, Tuesday? And this is basically how I wanna be refreshing for today. Look at these, try to get tangled up. I'm just gonna get some water. Cause this is a quick one. I really wanted to co-wash today. Didn't get around to it. Spritz it with water. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the naturally smitten moisturizing hair butter onto my hand. That's more than a little bit. To add that moisture in. And because this part is starting to look dumb dry, I'm gonna spritz it with water as well. And lightly put the some moisturizing hair butter on it. So today I wanna be using the gel again, the wet line extreme, but I'm not gonna put it on my entire head, but mostly my edges, the part that is most likely to be exposed, like under the head, you know, sometimes the sides show a little. So I'm gonna put a little bit here. I'm gonna get my infamous do-rag scarf wrap, whatever you wanna call it. I feel like it's like a three in one. And you know, I like to bun it, but so, so when I get in the shower, it won't get wet. And I just end up just throwing the bunny on my hair literally like this. So it's super easy how I maintenance it at night. I don't do any extra sealing, moisturizing or sealing at night at the time. But this hat though. Okay, so today is Wednesday. And it's the first time I'm doing something to my hair today. This slipped on off while I was sleeping. So. I really want it so bad to co-wash today. Normally I would, but this just lets you know that my busy schedule and me being always at a push for time when I should do stuff, I don't. So since I'm not gonna co-wash today, I'm gonna do a quick refresher with some water. And boy, it's crunchy, it's crunchy as hell. How about today, since I know it's super, super dry, feel it, I'm gonna add a little bit more moisture to the ends. And I'm gonna take my extreme wet line gel and do this emergency sleep because my hair was a mess, y'all. It just doesn't feel good right now. I just. Sometimes I feel like I don't have enough hours in a day. Like, like this video if you feel like that. Sometimes, you know, life is just busy. Shout out to the extreme wet line gel though. It's almost like a lot of people say it's a eco styler dupe, but it is cheaper. Look at that. <laughs> now I'm off to go get this money. So it's Thursday and I just had to co-wash y'all. Like I just couldn't go another day even though I have a deep condition coming up real soon, I was like, no. So I just co-washed my hair and because of course of gel I've been sleeping in back with, I did go ahead and shampoo like this area and then I deep and then I did deep condition and then I put conditioner on it just to like smooth it out. So I guess you can say it's washed partially co-washed. Just took the t-shirt off. It's still wet. So let me go ahead and um put something in it. I'm gonna be going in with the main choice, Ancient Egyptian, the cuticle control leave-in lotion. Next, I'm gonna be using the Mango Dip uh, Detangling Slip by Soul Tentacles. It is a, um, it's mango butter and olive squalane or something. I don't know, girl. But 
because I have so much of this stuff, I find myself trying to use it up, you know? And it doesn't feel bad on my hair either. And it smells really good. So yeah, one thing that it does give my hair, it slips. So, so next I'm gonna be going in at this like all natural back area with this naturally smitten moisturizing hair butter because those were just like my leave-ins I put in. I still want to add more moisture to the back area. I don't know if I said that wrong. I want to add extra moisture to the back area. Moisture all over. Over, 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 over. Next, I'm gonna be lightly sealing coconut oil. My hand is so slippery, I couldn't even twist the top off. Oh, and you know it's summertime when your coconut oil starts to liquefy instead of be a set of solid. You just know it's the season. Well, I was trying to see what I wanted to do with my hair. It has to be something really quick because your girl wanted that time. So I'm gonna grab my handy dandy wet line and screen gel. Extreme, extreme. Yeah, I'll get the point. While I really want to do two uh, French braids, I don't have the time. So I'm just gonna do one and just keep it moving. So now that I have my little French braid going on, take a little bit more gel just to re-slick these edges while I was struggling with this braid, girl. Your girl was struggling. I bet y'all already know what comes next. Now make sure to tie these loosely because the, the thing you don't need is for to be putting pressure around your head and smushing this in because this is probably the hairstyle. Hold on. This is probably the hairstyle that I get the most headaches with because sometimes I tie my scarf too tight. So I'm gonna take this hair tie, roll this under because I don't want to look at that. And I'm pretty sure y'all don't either. <laughs> so today is Friday and I just did condition my hair. Of course, you know, I record that and it has to be done today. This is my hair freshly after a deconditioned rinse. It's really fluffy and soft. Ooh, okay, girl. We're gonna go in with this Soul Tentacles and Mango Dip de Detangling Slip. And you know what? I kinda feel like I have so much freaking hair. I might have to go in in sections. So today I think I'm gonna do the L OC method that's what liquid oil and then a cream um i need to know what i'm gonna do with my hair because i'm off tomorrow so i need to know if i need to pre-prep i got 20 minutes before i need to walk out of the door let's see let's do the cream next um i'm gonna be doing the allocate natural the shea yogurt moisturizer it's literally like a creamy It smells good too. So I've decided to just go ahead and do two French braids. That way, if I decide not to go anywhere in the gym, it's just easier. And even if I decide to go somewhere, you know, this weekend, I just can sit under the dryer to make sure it's dry unravel the braids and have like a braid out so yeah i'm gonna be doing it with eco styler flaxseed black seed oil and black pasta and then i'm gonna be going in with this apple and aloe apple and aloe curl definer by talia wajid so it's from the apple and aloe line with coconut green apple wine so I'm just gonna do this because it is a curl definer, but it's a super good moisturizer. So I'm just gonna go 
and base my hair with it. And then I'm just gonna apply the Eco Styler Gel and braid it. Saturday and I've been running all week y'all. I'm off work so I really just got out of bed. I'm about to go to the gym so I don't foresee me doing anything special. That's why I love these two french braids. It's like the first, it's like the um, what I'm gonna say? It's like the perfect style when you're transitioning and you, you don't do too much. So all I'm going to be doing today is grabbing a moisturizer and I just grabbed the first one of choice which is uh, Naturally Smitten Moisturizing Hair Butter. So I just want to make sure that these braids um, stay moisturized. And I grabbed my handy dandy coconut herb. I'm going to have y'all seeing it. Hold on. I bet some of y'all probably know I'm not. <laughs> So I'm just gonna coat it lightly with coconut oil and this literally all I'm gonna do to my hair, y'all. If I do something different, I'm gonna come back and tell y'all why. I don't plan on going nowhere though. We shall see. So it's Sunday and I need to do something to my head because I need to record a video right quick. So I'm gonna take off these little rubber bands that I have on the ends of my hair that I secured and I need, I need moisture and I need it quick. So I'm gonna go in for something really, really moisturizing, which is the Green Aloe, Green Apple and Aloe Curl Definer by Talia Wajid. I'm gonna be following it up with a light coat of extra virgin olive oil. So I finished my video, stepped out for a second, but I'm really ready to just like wind down right now. So I'm gonna take this little rope. It came to me in a PR package. It's literally like a satin string. It's a satin string. I don't think I'm gonna be preserving this because this was this was like a one-time use style. That's why I kind of did the two French braids because it's great uh, for protecting my hair and like keeping it locked away while I work out. But in case something came up and I needed to get cute real fast, I could and that's the purpose that it served. I got a long five day workout, workout week ahead of me y'all and I'm dead not trying to preserve this. It's, I can do this in like a matter of five minutes when I co-wash. I just put it up like out of my face with this. And I had my setting. Man, you can always like tuck the ends if you want. But I really just want to be ugly and like watch Netflix, like mood or nah. Put my bunny on and I'm about to go clean my makeup off. And I'm probably gonna go to bed and just like this, sis. <laughs> so there you have it, a week in the life of transitioning hair. As I stated earlier in the video, I really don't have a set routine. I just wing it on how much time I got and how my hair feels. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And also, leave a comment below if you'd like to see another week in transitioning hair. You just never know what I might be doing on each day. <laughs> Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.